Hi guys, I welcome you all again to the fast track series for RBI Grade B 2018, a video series brought to you by EduTap. So telling you about this particular series after our phase one and I hope you all have done really well. Here we are going to cover the ESI and FM current affairs starting from August 1 so that it will be useful in your upcoming exam. Okay, let me just quickly tell you about our previous results as we've been working in this field from some time now. Last year, 124 Edutapians reached the interview stage and you see 27 could make it to the final list. So here are the various courses exclusively for your phase 2 exam. You can see here the FM full video course, ESI full video course and the combined full video course which consists of notes, MCQs and worksheets as well and in this month of independence we are running a discount of 50% you have to use the coupon code freedom50 to avail the discount so in this particular video we are going to cover the current affairs from August 10 11 and 12 moving on to the first news of the day Okay, so cabinet committee has approved the continuation of Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana. Now see, this particular Yojana is important and before telling you about this Yojana, let me just tell you that since it was uh, passed for the 12th 5 year plan that is which has ended in 2017 as it was for 2012 to 17. Now cabinet committee has approved it to continue even after this plan. Now, uh, telling you about this Yojana, government had launched it in 2002, provide the all-weather access to unconnected habitations. As you can see, the rural connectivity is very much important for the development. So, this was a step taken by the government to provide the connection to the habitations which were not connected by road. And secondly, important thing to note down here is, it is a 100% centrally sponsored scheme. That is, the share of the government is... 100% and for this 50% cess is on high speed diesels and uh, that 50% of that cess would be directly going to this the funding of this project and uh, uh, yes another thing important to note down here that the government has brought forward the target date which was earlier 2022 so three years target has been forwarded now it is the 2019 to complete this rural connectivity so you can see a very major step taken by the government after the uh, electricity connection to the uh, villages. Now government has provided for rural connectivity through roads. Yes, that would be all about this news. Moving to the second news. Cabinet approves the release of pulses to states. Now see, this is again important since last year uh, in 2017, India had a bumper pulses uh, grown up. So now, uh, and the government had to uh, take all those pulses under the MSPs. So now to clear its stock, government has uh, approved a decision so that these pulses can be distributed to the PDS system and the midday meal scheme for the school children. Now it will be at a discounted rate and uh, let us uh, see in detail about these two topics. So in the last year, pulses uh, output was about 24.5 million tons. You see such a huge amount. So uh, the prices for these fell and government had to intervene under the MSP scheme that is the minimum support price where government took the pulses and now since it has so many stock of the pulses the government is going to distribute it so as to benefit the health of the children in our country. Here I have mentioned for you guys some facts that uh, according to this survey by National Family Health Survey fourth. Uh, that was conducted in 2015-16 the underweight children in India 35.7 percent and stunted are 38.4 percent so you see such a huge number which are undernourished and stunted so this is a step taken by government to curb all these okay so here comes another important approval by cabinet committee on economic affairs they have approved the continuation of post matrix scholarship for obc students now see this is it was earlier in uh, operation since 98-99 and it's a flagship scheme of ministry of social justice and empowerment basically it is helping financially the obc students to pursue the higher studies after class 10. So now they have been approved for 2018-19 and even for 19-20 fiscal year. So these are the important takeaways from this particular news. Moving on to the next news. 
okay so lok sabha passes another important bill which is representation of people's amendment bill see this bill basically as the original is of 1951 it has been amended and this time the important amendment has taken place regarding the proxy voting now since this is the first time proxy voting would be given to the overseas indians so uh, this becomes important for us to know and uh, secondly i would just tell you guys here is that uh, india in, in in indian parliamentary system we have three options for voting that is first in person secondly by postal ballot and thirdly the proxy voting the latter two ones are available to the service voters the classified service voters that is the personals who are in the army navy or air force so they were uh, they could avail these facilities but, but now by this bill even this proxy voting would be available to the overseas indians so now this is a very important amendment taken place and just to uh, tell you guys an important piece of information according to the estimates of the ministry of external affairs there are about 31 million nris who are living in different countries across the world so you see such a huge number of nris uh, who are living abroad so now many of them will be able to take uh, the benefit of the proxy voting which has been uh, just laid down by the government okay global innovation index 2018 since india has improved its ranking from last year that is in 2017 india's rank was 60 and this year india has improved to 57 so that is why this news becomes important for us to note down secondly i will just tell you that since it has been launched in india the event was organized by cii that is confederation of indian industry now cii world intellectual property organization and dipp these are the three important bodies who were responsible for organizing this event and secondly the rank of india in 2018 is also important for us to note down okay now this news relates to ifco ifco forays into food processing and has a jv that is a joint venture pact with spain firm and it is under this pact going to set up a food processing plant at ludhiana in punjab the estimated investment would be 325 crore rupees now see we have known ifco the fertilizer major is basically the largest cooperative in india which is involved in the farming sector it is responsible for farming inputs fertilizers equipments whatever are else uh, inputs in the farming sector so now it has announced a venture with spain's firm for food processing plant so that is why again this is important and just to tell you guys that ifco will have a stake of 30% and the spain's firm will have a 70% stake so basically it is a kind of a push for the food processing industry and it is going to generate a lot of employment as well for the uh, people nearby ludhiana okay so imf forecast of india's gdp growth now see uh, before telling you about this particular news let me just tell you that since imf has forecasted the growth of india earlier as well so this is the latest one as of august 2018 so that is why this becomes important for us now according to the report by imf india's gdp is expected to grow at 7.5% in the fiscal year 2019-20 and in this particular year that is 2018-19 India's GDP is expected to grow by 7.3%. So these are the two important uh, forecasts by IMF and uh, another important thing mentioned here is that current account deficit is projected to be widened by 2.6% since you have known that the oil prices and a kind of oil crisis is going on in the world due to the increased prices. So that would be reflected in the current account deficit and it would be widened by 2.6%. so uh, that would be it okay lok sabha passes another important bill now this bill is very important for us it is a kind of a push to ease of uh, doing business in india now this bill basically will help india to become an arbitration hub now uh, let us just go through this news the lok sabha has passed this bill so as to make india a hub for domestic as well as global arbitration for settling commercial disputes now commercial disputes is important here since until now india has no strong mechanisms against the commercial disputes and that is why the companies from abroad which come in india and settle the uh, settle up their business face a lot of problems so uh, to give a push to the ease of doing business program india has come up with this bill particularly 
Now it will establish the arbitration councils of India for the promotion of arbitration, mediation, conciliation and other various uh, arbitration mechanisms. Now this will give a push and uh, so the companies which come here and settle down their business have the ease and have confidence in our mechanisms as well. It will basically provide for a time bound settlement as I have mentioned here. So moving on to the next news. Okay, so another important bill which has been passed by parliament is the insolvency and bankruptcy bill. This bill basically would be replacing the ordinance which had earlier taken place in June. So uh, for the resolution of the bankrupt firms. Now from this particular bill, two major benefiters would be the home buyers and secondly, they would be the MSME sector. Let us see how. See home buyers basically through this bill are going to be recognized as the financial creditors in the real estate project so that with this uh, becoming of them as financial creditors they would be given due representation in the committee of creditors so that major decisions are taken with the with their consonants let us see about msme sector as well so msme sector would empower the government to provide them with a special dispension under the code now this will help the msme sector so as to overcome the hurdles which they had to go through uh, in the financial process now what is the importance of msme sector is that it is the backbone of the indian economy as it is the biggest employer which is next to agriculture so uh, this bill is basically in the favor of the msme and secondly the home buyers so the last news of the day is about Axis Bank. So Axis Bank has become the first bank in the country to introduce Iris Scan authentication feature for the transactions which are related to Aadhaar. Now see through this uh, Axis Bank is trying to give a push to the digital banking and since it has become the first bank in the country that is why this news is important for us. And just to uh, uh, tell you guys about this Iris Scan technology, it is completely contactless and it has an edge over the other biometric uh, modes which are available in the country. So uh, with this, I, uh, Axis Bank has introduced its feature of uh, particularly Iris authentication. So uh, yes, that would be all from this news. So that was all guys, August 10, 11 and 12. If you guys have any query, drop us a mail at hello at the rate edutab.co.in. You can even give us a call at 8146-207-241. And you can also visit our website anytime at www.edutab.co.in. And before moving, please note down the link of the Telegram channel mentioned here for you. You can just go and download the content sheet of this particular series. If you like this video, do not forget to click the like button and do subscribe and share. Thank you guys. Have a happy learning.